Hey guys, and welcome back to another gold making video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you a steady gold farm that you can do solo, and it is another mining gold farm. So we're going to be mining for Elementium Ore. Now this sells extremely good and has a very good price at the moment on the NA, and overall has a good price for a ore. Now this is the route that you want to follow. Now this is over in Twilight Highlands. To see the nodes on your map, you're going to need an add-on, which is called GatherMade2, and this will show you where all the mining nodes actually spawn, so you know exactly where to go. You're going to also need GatherMate2 data to give the data to GatherMate2. Now, this is a very, very easy farm. Like all mining and herbing farms, I would recommend being a druid, just because you have that instant flight form, and also, obviously, when you're doing herb, you can um, you can pick the herbs without leaving your flight form. You'll have to leave it while you're doing this mining farm, but you still have an instant flight form, which over time will add up and save you a lot of time in the long run when doing these sort of farms. As you can see, the Elementium has a very good price at the moment on the NA servers. As you can see, 33 gold each. Now you get multiple of the same ore every single time that you mine it. So you can get upwards of like five sometimes and um, you can make a lot of gold from one single mining node. Now you just want to follow exactly where I'm going. As you can see on the minimap, it has the red circles. Now the red circles are where all the mining nodes actually spawn. And then as you can see, when there is a mining node, it will pop up inside the circle. So pretty much you just want to follow the line of circles all the way around on the minimap and follow the route that I showed at the start of the video. This is a very easy farm to do, and you can make a lot of gold. On average, you can make like an easy 30K gold, 20 to 30K gold, depending on the prices from doing this farm. Just one of the best mining gold farms to actually do at the moment. It's very, very good for mining. Now, another thing when you're doing this farm, you want to make sure that you have maxed mining for a classic. Um, this will just give you a few extra materials and you want to make sure you're maxed out just to make it as efficient as possible. Now what we're doing is just going around the full map, making sure we're not missing any of the mining nodes whatsoever. Now when I'm doing this farm, even though I have herbalism, I don't worry about picking up any of the herbalism um, herbs or anything like that because they don't have a, as good price as the Elementium ore. So I like to use my time just to focus on mining the Elementium ore when doing this sort of farm. You'll also get some volatile waters while you're doing this farm. So they add up a decent amount of gold. They sell very quickly also. And when you're selling this, I would recommend if the price is a bit low for either of these materials, I'd wait till it goes up to the market value price or even above the market value price. The prices of the mining um, ores are always going up and down all the time, especially this one, it bounces up and down all the time. Um, so make sure that you're selling it at a point where it is the most profitable. Before coming out and doing this farm, I would honestly check the auction house and check the price of the Elementium ore and make sure it's sitting at a very good price before you come and do this farm. I'd recommend doing that with pretty much all material farms is to check the price on the auction house first uh, before you head out and do the farm. That way you know you're going to make a decent amount of gold when you're doing it. That was it for today's video. Just a quick video showing you a steady solo gold farm that anyone can do that has mining on their character. If you enjoyed, hit the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to learn more about making gold in retail World of Warcraft, you can check out my complete gold making guide, which will be the first link down below in the description box. And this is constantly updated. And if you own a copy, you get all the updates completely free. Till next one, guys. Take care.